Hi, this is Fernando Arboso with Arboso & Associates, LLC, Maryland, D.C., Virginia. I am a broker, real estate agent, expert in distressed properties. I have listed over 100 properties in the last four years for short sales. And I can tell you, I spoke to many homeowners when they go into distress. And I have seen many times how lenders trick homeowners into different things. So they were, they're saying something, but they are not doing something. Or they're tricking the homeowner into signing papers they shouldn't be signing. And these are my 10 loan modification secrets your bank does not want you to know. And I'm going to reveal to you one of the secrets today. And I want you to understand why I am doing this. Because I know facing foreclosure can be overwhelming and scary by, by the family. By your family, by your, by your wife, by your kids, or by your husband, by your kids, depending. But the following this guide will break down how to go through the process yourself using all or parts of the 10 secrets that I am outlining in this presentation. Very important you follow through. Why am I doing this? This is the reason why. Because I want you to understand that the road to loan modification with no principal reduction in most cases only benefits the lender, not the homeowner. It does not make sense for somebody to sign a piece of paper saying they agree to a loan modification when they know that 10 years from now they will still owe more to the bank than what the house is worth. What kind of sense does that make for you to be able to sacrifice your life for the next 10 years and be able to save to, to basically pay the bank and basically just be a renter from the bank. In that case, you are not a homeowner. You are a mortgage owner. That's all you are. Please understand, a loan modification with no principal reduction in most cases does not benefit the homeowner. My secret that we're going to jump in right in now is secret number six. A one-page hardship letter and don't blame them. Making sure that when you write the hardship letter uh, that is required by all the lenders, it is important that this letter is submitted with your loan modification application. Your letter should be no more than one page, easy to read and understand, short and to the point. This letter was going to be re read by your lender and, they, and you wanted to make it a, like a, a very personal thing. I want, them, I want you to touch them. I want you to touch the person who's reading why you, there is what's the reason why you got into this position where you are asking for a loan modification you need to be real you need to be clear you need to be very near to the reader's heart because this is your chance where you are saying uh, what you need to say in order for them to be able to accept you a, a loan modification you need to be precise in explaining the exact schedule of events what actions that cause the late payments very important that your hardship has to explain all these things so you can the bank can actually make a decision and then and then, and then actually go through the process with you you know the worst thing you can do uh, at this at this time is that you blame the lender or blame uh, that they charge you so much money or they make you they trick you into putting in this type of loan or whatever you know, and that this is not the time to be saying that to the lender because they're, the only thing you're going to accomplish is just make them, uh, you know, mad at you, basically. And you don't want to be in that position because you're going to be negotiating with them. You know, if you need a copy of a hardship letter of an example that I can give it to you, I'll be glad to do it. Just send me an email or give me a call and you will. I'll be glad to send you a copy of the sample hardship letter that we have. Uh, we have a, uh, a lot of copies of this for many people, and we'll be glad to share them with you. Uh, please understand that if you go to LenderLoanModifications.com, you will be able to see all the 10 secrets that you need to have in order for you to get the truth about your options and making sure you do a loan modification that benefits you and not just the lender. If you have any questions about your particular situation in Maryland, D.C., and Virginia, please give me a call, 301-968-0555. Thank you.